Hey, thank you for stopping through Terrence McCall's channel, T Entertainment. I'm going to break down the last week of the NFL regular season. Make sure you like and subscribe to my page and leave a comment as well. Let me know who you think is going to make it to the Super Bowl and who is your favorite team that you like and who you think is going to make it to the playoffs and who you think is going to win the MVP. All right, for my week 16 predictions recap. I had the Vikings losing to the Saints 40 to 20. The Saints pull it off 52 to 33. I had the Buccaneers over the Lions 30 to 17. The Buccaneers win 47 to 7. I had the 49ers losing to the Cardinals by 10, 31 to 21. But the 49ers pulled it off 20 to 12. I had the Raiders over the Dolphins 27 to 20. The Dolphins win by one point 26 to 25. Over last second touchdown. I had the Ravens over the Giants big 39 to 10. The Ravens win 27 to 13. I had the Chiefs over the Falcons 36 to 17. The Chiefs pulled it off by three points 17 to 14. I had the Browns over the Jets 35 to 17. The Jets pulled off their second consecutive victory of the year 23 to 16. I had the Bears. 27 to 10 over the Jaguars. The Bears win 41 to 17. I had the Bengals over the Texans 2017. The Bengals win 37 31. The Colts, I had them boys losing 23 to 20 over the Steelers. The Steelers come back in the second half and squeeze that game out 28 24. I had the Panthers losing to the Washington D.C. football team 27 to 13. The Panthers win 20 to 13. I had the Broncos winning by one point over the Chargers, 29 to 28. The Chargers win, 19 to 16. I had the Eagles, 26 to 20 over the Cowboys. The Cowboys win, 37 to 17. My Rams were supposed to pull this off, 28 to 25, but thanks to Jared Goff and the uh, struggling offense, uh, Jared Goff did go down with a thumb injury. Uh, Anyways, the Rams lose 20 to 9 over the Seahawks. And the Titans lose by big 41 to 14 and I had the Packers winning by 130 to 29. I had the Bills over the Patriots 27 to 20. The Bills win big 38 to 9. Okay, for my week 17 predictions, I have the Vikings beating the Lions 30 to 10. I have the Falcons by 16, getting beat over from the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers will beat the Falcons 26 to 10. I have the Jets winning their third consecutive game, 30 to 14 over the Patriots. I have the Dolphins beating the Bills 24 to 20. I have the Browns over the Steelers 34 to 26. The Cowboys will beat the Giants 36 to 20, and that will eliminate the Giants for sure out the playoffs, as if they haven't. Um, been should have been eliminated weeks ago. Um, moving on down, I have the Bengals thirty to twenty one over the Ravens. I have the Colts thirty to thirteen over the Jaguars. I have the Titans twenty six to ten over the Texans. I have the Panthers twenty eight to twenty over the Saints. I have the Packers over the Bears thirty eight to twenty six. The Bears will be eliminated if the Bears will lose in my Rams end up winning over the Arizona Cardinals, which I haven't put down on the thing. But that will be the last game um, for the Bears for the season because they will lose to the Packers. Um, moving on down, I have the Chargers losing to the Chiefs 30-21. to I have the Seahawks winning 31-10 over the 49ers. I have the Raiders over the Broncos 31-14. And... The Washington, D.C. football team will beat the Eagles 27-16. Now, if the Washington, D.C. football team wins, they are automatically in the playoffs, and they will host the home game. What are the odds of that? In my Rams, I don't have them nowhere on the paper, but I will have them winning 27-17. to 17. Um, I don't see them losing in – this uh, case, this is the game that will make or break them. 
Um, like I said, Jared Goff got injured, so he's going to be out indefinitely. Hopefully, uh, I can't tell you his timetable if the Rams happen to make the playoffs, which I'm positive that they will with the victory over the Cardinals tomorrow. Okay, okay, so I'm at my top five performances of the week, which I'm starting at number five, A.J. Dillon. Uh, 28, 21 carries for 124 yards and two touchdowns. I got De'Ariton Evans, uh, punt return to six returns for 145 yards. Allen Robinson, number, I'm sorry, Allen Robinson for the Bears. He had 10 receptions for 103 yards and no touchdowns. Jimmy Graham, he had four receptions for 69 yards and two touchdowns. And the big victory over the Jacksonville Jaguars and my boy Alex Kamara. 22 carries for 155 yards and six touchdowns. Now tell me, man, um, who done that score six touchdowns in one game? In my modern era, man, um, I couldn't even tell you. Um, not even from a running back at least. Um, but that's the good stuff, man. Um, congrats to him. Um, I'm going to break down my MVP for the NFL season. I'm going to break down my bracket, my NFC and my AFC uh, playoffs, which is the brackets as well. Um, and I'm going to be predicting my Super Bowl in the next two or three weeks. So make sure you stay tuned because this is just the regular season that's over with. We still have the playoffs and the Super Bowl to go. Um, Happy New Year's, and I hope you all have a blessed 20 and 21 uh, year.